folks. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Nine Mile Swamp. Thanks for joining us. As promised, we're going to start out with a with a, a lyric from J.R.R. Tolkien, uh, "Shadow Bride," and it's a ghost story. It's based on a myth that there is a cemetery where two lovers are buried side by side, and once a year, when the moon is casting just the right shadow, um, they come out of their graves and dance together. It seems a long time to wait for a dance, but it's called Shadow Bride. It's by J.R.R. Tolkien, wrote the lyrics. The melody was written by um, one of my teachers and mentors, Stephen J. Altman.
loved ones here when caverns yawn and hidden fades away. They dance together then till dawn and the single shadow made. Thanks, Cheryl. That was yeah. called Shadow Bride. And uh, we did it when we were on vacation up at uh, Great Sock and Daga. I was thinking about my friend Pete who wrote that melody. And uh, there was another song of his that I sort of half remembered. And, and I sat down for about an hour or so and I found the corner of my brain where forget, forgotten things go. And, uh, and I think I got most of the lyrics right. And, um, and I know I got the melody right. So. So this is a, it's kind of a, it's kind of a song that's been sitting around sleeping for, for, an, for a few decades, <laughs> waiting for somebody to do it. The song isn't really a song until somebody plays it, right? <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> hey, we've got uh, jo John Wash watching and uh, Joe Shelia joining us. It's a pretty song. It's a sweet song. It's a really sweet song. And uh, next. Next. Hey, Ryan. 
Ron, thanks for joining us. Boy, Joe, you had a really nice show today. Thanks for uh, sharing.
That was called "There's an Oak Tree in an Orchard," <laughs> uh, and that's on a uh, it's on a compilation CD somewhere, and uh, it is also uh, put it much put it right over here. I'm gonna turn it off. Oh, you are okay. And um, we're trying a new uh, lighting experiment tonight. <laughs> but um, anyhow, um, so uh, oh, that hey, wait a second. No, it's all time. Off. Time for me to switch guitars. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, well, let's that do that. Fast. And while you do that. <laughs> Um, we have a show coming up on Saturday, a really nice show at the Goshen Library, and it's presented by Music for Humanity, Barry Edelman putting it on, and invited us to play. Thank you, Barry. Barry and Barry's going to be playing a couple of songs. He's too. going to Go start the, the evening with a few songs, and uh, this is Saturday, October 5th from 2 to 4 p.m. It's called Music Connects Us, that's the name of the program, and they have a few other people coming in um, on different um, Saturdays in of each month. And Cheryl, so, what what is you, uh, music for humanity? So check out the calendar. Let me finish what I'm doing first, and then come over. You can talk about that. So yes, check out please. the calendar 
on the um, GoshenPublicLibrary.org website, the events calendar, and you can reserve your seats there. Um, and Kurt would like to tell you a little bit about music for humanity. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With uh, uh, that Barry Elin puts on. Okay. Uh, I can't tell you the whole history of the organization. I've, I've been, a, been a part of it for a couple of years as a judge for their scholarships. And these are scholarships that send brilliant young people to places like Juilliard and Berkeley and the, some of the famous mu music colleges. And, uh, and these are also students who perform in contests all, all over the world with their violins and their cellos and, and oboes and pianos and operatic voices. It's pretty amazing. It's been an amazing, uh, amazing little uh, learning experience for me. Um, I was very humbled by, the, uh, by having to, to sit in judgment of some such incredible musicians. Um, but, um, and then it was over, and then the Music for Humanity gives out thousands and thousands of dollars in scholarships. It's just amazing. Barry is the hardest working person that I know. Man, he is always, always out there doing it, always out there doing it for Music for Humanity, always out there doing it for the music. There's also a song contest that uh, songwriters can enter, yeah, that's too, right, going on. There is a songwriters contest, and the entries are still being... Uh, uh, taken for that. I, I'm not sure where there. Oh yes, go to Music for Humanity yes. website if and you would you like to enter a song, there. and yeah. you will find the contest form there. Okay, and uh, and do come out and see uh, Barry and the two of us at the Goshen Library. That's going to be a real. It's going to be a real hoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Saturday, right. October fifth, two to four p.m. And um, uh, Ron Garon is watching. Hey, Ron. Hey, Neil Brooks. Thanks for joining us again. We've got a lot of our friends who've joined us. Thank you. And thanks to everybody who's shared our show and shared our post for our show. Here comes one of my most favorite sounds. Are you ready? Listen to this. I love that. You know it's connected. <laughs> it just has that connected feel. Okay. Well, good. Are you ready, Don? Uh, this is going to be a trio of songs. Uh, we call this the Over the Mountain Trio. It's uh, Over the Mountain is a song that I wrote many years ago for the Wamblers. I Hear My Name is also a song I wrote for them. That uh, I wrote the first one with Steve Friedman. Uh, I Hear My Name, uh, I wrote That's My Song. And No One Man, I also wrote with Stephen Friedman. Okay, so that's where we're going to be for the next eight minutes or so. See you on the other side. Are you ready, Don? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, me too. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Girl, I just found out remains can't be wrong Cause it's 
melodies come on so strong, so strong.
young dog to your tail and fly and I must go it's getting on tonight and although I I must leave this day behind where I go I bring peace of mind I've got no Okay, I didn't. I didn't see it. I, yeah, I, I, she's I, watching after a long time not seeing us. Aha, uh -huh, so okay. Gene, I thought, welcome I, back. I, I thought I <laughs> saw something about a guitar and I had I had a picture in my mind of Joe Gillio playing oh. along with us or something. Well, well thank that'd you, Gene. Be funny <laughs> you were doing that. Um, yeah. Let's go back to that, Gene. What's that? So, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we never did that. No. Oh, yeah. Do you want to do running together? Let's do. Let's do that. And since that's new, then we know that we'll finish up strongly. It's new, we're but we've been doing it well, as I a know. new song, so you guys are going to know this song better than we will, I think. Yeah, that's possible. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So this is called, this is called The Song That Is New. I've changed my mind again. Yeah, okay. So it's not just a song anymore? <laughs> I, no. I did. I did. No. I don't know. If you guys have a better title for it, let's know. to find a title for it. <laughs> Call it Opus, uh, Opus Pocus. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four.
it's much better being with you. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's a new song. Yeah. <laughs> Looking for an ending. Hey, Jane Lester. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Hey, Dave Kearney. Okay. I see you there. And um, Thanks, this guys. is going to be our final song. Uh, if you uh, if you miss the rest of the show, of course, you can just take the little red marker and move it, slide it back, and start, watch anything. Start over. <laughs> <laughs> and see the mistakes that we've already forgotten uh -huh. about. Uh, <laughs> this is called Run Together. I believe in you. When I was feeling stronger I found freedom in motion Wait, see, those aren't bad words. It's not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I believe in you. Still... Okay, here we go. <laughs> now, I also want to play it just a little bit louder. All right. Guitar. Here we go. I believe in you When I was still lonely Swamp tonight. We had a blast playing for you. And don't and, forget. Uh, October 5th from 2 to 4 p.m. in the land of Goshen. No, no, in the land, in the city of Goshen. Isn't there a land of Goshen in the Bible? There is. Um, okay. in, uh, anyway, in the city of Goshen, we'll be performing from 2 to 5 at the Goshen Library. It's going to be great. The sound there is going to be great. And uh, Barry Adelman, Adelman will, be, will be opening 
the issue for us. So uh, yeah, make your it. reserve your seats now. Go to GoshenPublicLibrary.org and check on, uh, mm -hmm. click on their their events calendar, and you can check click on October fifth, and you will see our event there. Reserve your seats. And tell your friends. Hey, Maureen and Don, thanks for joining us. Oh, John Walsh, I hope you feel better. Hi, John. Sorry, and you're thank not you to well. everybody who joined us. And here we go. Let's see what I can do with this this time. We're going to come down.